we are going to start with uh, lesson 1 lesson 7 now uh la- for the last few uh, lessons uh, we talked about uh, a program that printed exchange rates of between uh, dollar and uh, rupee right now uh, what we are going to talk about what the programs uh, that we're going to write uh, it deals with character manipulations uh, how you manipulate characters strings uh why am i going to choose this it's because uh, most of what you do um, would involve uh, manipulating characters and numbers a uh, host of a whole lot of programs will involve uh, manipulating characters and that's the reason uh, i chosen this uh, character manipulation program uh, let's start we're going to start with hash stdio.h sorry <laughs> hash include stdio.h and um, as usual main 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 you want to uh, do very something very simple uh, we're going to say c equal to get char what it does uh, is basically it gets a character from the input whatever as soon as the program runs it will give you a prompt and it will just take a character okay and uh, you just going to print that character not using printf we are going to use another function that's called as put char okay see very very simple uh, the program does not do anything uh, it just uh, takes a character and prints it okay and but just let's declare this character c okay a uh, very simple and i just uh, stored this uh, char underscore manipulation dot c so let's just execute this okay gcc that's it it just printed a character okay uh, i typed a and it printed a okay and that is the program um so as simple um as it is okay uh this program just uh inputs one character and uh, outputs outputs it let's uh, you know write a bit more useful program that whatever you type it will print you know whatever you type it prints okay so very simple okay uh we'll just have to use a loop okay because it has to do something again and again and again we say while okay we'll just give the condition later we'll just say while now and uh, we will indent put char now as you see it inputs one character whatever you type and this is an infinite loop as i've already mentioned so it keeps outputting the same character again and again and again so let's have a very small condition here while c not equal to eof what is eof uh, eof is a special character uh, eof is a special character that signifies end of file so you know in dos how you specify eof is when you press control d when you press control d it signifies uh, end of file okay so when you say uh, when you enter con- and you press a control d you end the program but before that whatever uh, you keep typing it prints but do you observe that you are inputting the character only once but actually we need to print it always for every character so what you do is you do c equal to get char okay now it's much uh, better uh, let's see how it works let's uh, compile it before that let's save it b c d e f okay let me press control d now so it prints uh, 
all your characters as it is right so now i press uh, control d it ends the program okay it ends the program so what it basically has done it, it has taken the character control d here y dot dot this is uh, control d and it has just got the prompt right after that okay so as you see the program what it does is as, so, as soon as you are entering your characters uh, it's going to uh, print that okay so uh, you know uh, one thing is this uh, let's run it again I'll show you something so when you type a it hasn't actually taken it so you have to press uh, enter a new line for it to actually take it okay so you say B and it prints it again okay C it prints again uh, D it prints again uh, one more thing you notice right the first a it doesn't print uh, because uh, we are uh, what we're doing is we're taking a character okay and we're checking whether it is end of file and again we are taking a character instead of uh, you know printing it so what we do is if we interchange these two things right I think uh, it will also print the first character as well okay uh, now we'll see how it works uh, see now it prints so these are really uh, common errors we do in uh, programs just a small uh, improvement in this program you see right uh, we're uh, putting the c equal to get care here um, and then a while loop and then we're repeating the statement uh, what we could do is uh, we can put the c equal to get care inside this while loop itself it's like this okay and uh, do this okay uh, and just delete this line okay so what this is doing is um, it's going to see equal to get care the same statement as it okay and we don't want this uh, statement also small amount of intelligence right and we could end up saving and there's only one statement in while so we don't need the braces as well I think I had uh, at one of the lessons showed you a while loop which has just one statement doesn't need any braces it's, this is one of the best examples uh, for that so it looks really cute right the program it's really cute elegant very small okay and exactly uh, does um, what it is supposed to do and doesn't even confuse okay so now um, let's run this program and see before that uh, let me just explain you um, something so you should say c equal to get car right why do i put these two braces okay just to make sure that we are actually uh, you know get car uh, is comparing with us uh, get care it gets stored in C and we are comparing that with EOF okay and that is the result we are actually printing but uh, if we would uh, but if we would do it this way so what would happen is get care would get compared uh, with EOF and then the true or false will get assigned to C. Okay, get care uh, gets compared to end of file, and the true or false gets assigned to C, and uh, that we would not actually achieve the purpose. So let's keep the braces. Uh, this this is more to do with the precedence of operators and everything. We're going to look at it in the future lessons. Okay.